thinking of making a move to Eastwood Village here in beautiful Irvine, California, or sunny Orange County, California. Well, in this video, we're going to take you by three homes, brand new homes in the Fresco development in Eastwood Village. And you want to stick around to the end because we're taking a really nice driving tour. Let's get to it. So if this is your first time in channel, welcome. If you want to know everything there is to know about living, working, playing, eating, owning a home in Irvine, California, and surrounding communities, you've come to the right channel. Hi, my name is Bruce Clark, real estate agent with Cobalt Banker. Been doing this more than 17 years, and every day we get calls, and emails, and text messages from people just like you that are looking to make a move to the area. So whether you're looking to make a move in the next five days, 50 days, or further out, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd love to help you make a smooth move to Irvine, California and surrounding communities. Now, we're talking about Eastwood Village and right now, right now we're in the North, North Park Plaza and there's a lot of great food. In fact, a good friend of ours just walked by and was talking about this uh, Chipotle that's opening. It's one of the original Chipotle's here and they're going to open a big one across the street where the old Jack in the Box is. But if you look, you've got a lot of great stores. You've got the noodle, you've got restaurants, you've got the, the Spice Palace Hot Pot. You've got the Noodle Street. That looks phenomenal. You've got one of the oldest, as a matter of fact, is one of the original Chipotle's here in California. Been there over 20 years. You've got sushi and sake. And so, um, ooh, limit the amount of sake. Um, it, uh, you've got a, you've got a, um, across the street, you have Brugger's Bagels and you have a Starbucks and you've got the Chevron. It's right, it's right across from, uh, from North Park. You've got North Park Plaza, but absolutely phenomenal area. There's a lot of shopping. A lot of things do now. Now Eastwood Village, it's a newer village. The ones we went to are Fresco, brand new homes. Definitely, you need to watch the video. And one of the things that we want to talk also uh, bring up is that not using an agent when you buy a new home, we, we always think of it as a mistake because there's things that agents do and can bring to the table that that you probably haven't thought of. We were there for walkthroughs. We have our professional team of people that when you're looked at make additions to your home, or you need to uh, maybe have some repairs made down the road. We're here, we have those lists, and we can also help with negotiations. We look it over, look over all the paperwork, and, and you know, the builder has their own representative, and we always think you should too. What we also do is we're there for all the walkthroughs. So we bring a very critical eye, and we've helped people, uh, when they've bought new homes, really make some really nice changes and upgrades. So whether you're looking to make a move the next five days, 50 days, or further out, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd love to help you make a smooth move to Irvine and surrounding communities. So here we are, welcome to home number one. We're in the, we're in the Fresco development in Eastwood Village, Irvine Pacific is the builder. A lot of parks, gosh, that's one of the neat things. Oh, schools, you have top-notch schools. You've got, you've got excellent elementary, middle schools, high schools, Northwood considered one of, the, one of the best high schools in Orange County. Absolutely just phenomenal schools. So here we are walking into home number one. We're in the Fresco at Eastwood, Irvine Pacific's the builder, brand new homes. This is a, the Plan 1X, it's four bedrooms, three and a half baths, has a conservatory. So <clears throat> here's the downstairs bedroom. Could easily be an office, could be yeah, pretty much whatever you want. What's nice is you have a three quarter bath here. So you do have a shower, you have full baths, bath is considered when you have a tub. So I like the interest, I like the, I like the colors. Very, very interesting. Two car garage. Let's go ahead and let's walk through. So you're going to come in here. So bedroom on the left, stairs on the left, but let's come through. Let's walk. Let's walk through into the, uh, into the living area. So you have a dining area slash dining room. Again, this is the great room concept. So all the rooms are together right here. So you've got your living room slash family room. Now here, what they did was they went with a conservatory. As you can see, the optional would be an, in, an indoor outdoor living area. So that's, that's really cool. And I say indoor outdoor because we, we, in Southern California, because of the weather and the lack of bugs, a lot of times we have kind of a melding of the indoor outdoor space. So it's really nice, really nice pocket door. It opens up, well, that's about 4,000 square feet. The home's 2,389 square feet. So, Gives you a little room. You've got some outdoor entertaining you can do. Chef-inspired kitchen is the way they describe it. And I like it because you have KitchenAid appliances. You've got granites. You've got some beautiful, you know, kind of a, a waterfall edge. It really isn't, you know, you don't have the, a bull nose or those types of things. 
But there's a lot of space, a lot of good cabinet space. Let me show you, they've got soft closed drawers, which we like. I, I know for some that, that it's a standard feature, but we don't see it in every builder. Orion Pacific is doing it here. Beautiful, beautiful six burner and KitchenAid. Good, very nice appliances. Nice microwave, big oven. A two car garage upstairs. So as soon as you come upstairs, you have a bedroom here. Nice high ceilings. One of the things we forgot to note downstairs is that over the living space, you have, you have volume ceilings, so a little higher. So here's your laundry. Good, good space. There's bedroom three. You got nice baseboards. You don't have crown molding, but and then you here's your here's your shared bath. It's a full bath, so you do have shower over tub. Going in the master. So here's the master bedroom. Again, home size is 2,389 square feet. We're gonna look at some other homes. We're gonna have different different layouts on the on the master. What we like about this is we like all the, the, the light. This has a lot of natural light, nice ceilings. They get additional height here, and that gives you additional, just additional sense of, of openness, if you will. So come on in and join me. Dual vanity. Ooh, big soaking tub, my life, life is tubs. So, good size, good size closet. Good size shower, not as big as some that we've seen. If you watch our, the meadows, and, Lake Forest, and here's your loop. So, these are these are really nice ceramic tile floors, plantation shutters. In there, in most of the homes, once you start talking about window treatments, certainly you can upgrade the carpet. You can upgrade the various materials. It all adds up to additional money. The cost for this Plan One X is right around anywhere from two million ninety. So a little bit over 2.1 million, so not inexpensive. Oh, HOA, the HOA is gonna be 125 a month when fully built out. And once you include the Mellow Roos, Mellow Roos is an infrastructure bond because they needed to add schools, need to add roads, and they added parks. You're gonna be approximately 1.3% total tax. So um, if you have any questions about Mellow Roos, but the taxes certainly reach out to us. Reach out to us about anything. So, this wraps up our tour of home number one. Let's go see home number two. So here we are, welcome up to home number two. This is four bedrooms, three and a half baths, 2,639 square feet on the market for a little bit over 2.2 million out. There are no homes here in Fresco and Eastwood that have in-suite bathrooms. Yes, you're gonna have it in in-suite bathroom in the, in the main bedroom or the master bedroom. So here's the downstairs bedroom. A lot of, and this is just like, just like the plan one. What's cool, some of the photos, here's an old, these are old libraries and with the card systems. It's, it's, it's cool. And of course, huge TVs. We get a lot of great design ideas from going through the model homes. We go through a lot of model homes. So let's go ahead and follow me. So you have your story, you have good storage. We have kids, they'd use that as a, as a hide and seek. And of course you're gonna have two car garage. If you notice, you've got tankless water heaters and that's the way we're going here. A lot of tankless water heaters. Nice epoxy flooring, easy to, easy to add charging for, for your electric vehicle, easy also to add um, a uh, whole, house, whole house filtration system. So you're gonna have a lot more space here because you're a little bit over 2,600 square feet. One of the neat things, and we saw this in home one, is you have big volume ceilings above your, above your living space. Really gives you an air of, of openness. Here we have, as we saw in home number one, standard conservatory, they've added additional space. So you can opt for the outdoor outdoor living. And again, we have a really good melding of indoor outdoor space. Coming, coming this way, you have this big pocket door opens up. A lot of, a lot of neat design ideas. And so, uh, but there's, there's lots right around 4,000 square feet. As you, but as you can see, you can still do a lot of things with, with your outdoor space. Bigger slab, bigger kitchen. Because of the openness, you're gonna have your dining space here. You have your living, 
your entertainment. You could easily make that, again, you could make that an office. You could add a, 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 a big pocket door, or you could add a big, big barn door. But as you can see, a lot of counter space. We've got, again, we've got soft clothes. We've got granites. We've got the six burner kitchen. This is the Gen Air, I'm sorry. So they went with Gen Air in this one. So as you can see. So, very high quality, different, different cabinets too. Neat, neat, let me show you this. You could eat here. A lot of space, a lot of space. Join me upstairs, let's take a look at the other three bedrooms. So now here we are upstairs. Let's go ahead and go to the right. First thing you have is you have your, your, uh, your shared bathroom. So you have dual, dual sinks. And you have a shower over tub, really good size. Kids would have fun, fun in this. Let's step this way. Another bedroom. Again, good height, good height of the ceilings. Big windows, really like, really like what they've done. You don't have the big frame that you saw when we were um, touring some other homes, so they're more, the more the metal and, but uh, very elegant. A lot of, a lot of natural light. Good size closet. Let's go. Here we have our laundry. It's a laundry. You have a sink. It has <laughs> storage. You can put a washer or dryer. Pretty standard. Okay, so let's go to bedroom number three. Come right in. You've got a good size walk-in closet. Again, a lot of a lot of good natural light. Plantation shutters. Really nice. This doesn't have plantation shutters. But the smaller light does, I need to cut some of that. But the smaller, smaller window does. All right, let's go to the main bedroom. A lot of cabinet space. Like, like the, what they've done with this. A lot of times this smaller space at the top of the stairs is un, it's just unused. And so that makes, that makes a lot of sense. Let's step in the master. Come in. Good. Now here they do have, they have, um, they have crown molding. And they also have baseboards, but they've done a nice little architectural feature to give additional height without needing to have all of it the same, the same height. I like what they've done. Plantation shutters again, big steel frame, when uh, aluminum frame, tub. You have a separate shower. Now here they've opted for a dual sink versus a dual vanity. So a little bit more space here than than plan one. Same size here. So, little difference. Let's step over, let's take a look at the closet. You're gonna get a little bigger, a little bigger walk-in closet. And these build-outs are not standard. So, if you were to buy a new home, one of the things you wanna do is, is probably have a custom designer come in. That's where we come in. We have all those people. We have a great list of of top flight professionals. So that concludes our tour of home number two. Let's go see home number three. Here I'll walk up to home number three. Four bedrooms, three and a half baths, 3,024 square feet. Right now they're asking 2.4 million. Now this one has the optional bonus room over the great room and you'll see that as we as we go. And this is a three XAR model. Uh, I don't know why three letters. But let's step in to the three XAR model. In with Fresco. We're here, here in Eastwood Village. First thing you step in, so it's reversed. The other ones, if you remember, plan one and two, we stepped in and we had a bedroom on the left. Here we're gonna step in, bedrooms on the right. So that's where you get the X. Bedroom number one. So just like just like we've seen in the others, one of the things is they have a, a optional op office, but they've opted for bedroom four and I think a lot of people will. Plantation shutters on, on the smaller, on the secondary windows, if you will. And we had the aluminum frame on on the primary windows. Good amount of natural light. Here we have our bath downstairs bathroom. Now this is a three quarter because it does not have a tub, and that's the way we define those. But you do have a good size shower. Let's step into the home. Big storage. We've seen that. A lot of fun. And of course, we have two car garage. But this one's not open. But this one we step in. And you have a very dramatic, very dramatic 
um, volume ceiling. You've got your great room, um, the family room here because of the size of lot, and it's about 4,000 square feet. They've added a pool, and you can get a pool from what we've seen. You can get a pool on any of the lots that we've seen so far. Definitely would, would add some cooking facilities, throw a barbecue over there and smoke some ribs. Ooh, love ribs. Big, as you can see, really big pocket door. We do a lot of melding of the indoor-outdoor space here. So you've got your, you've got your eating area slash dining room. You've got a lot of good counter space here. We're talking Caesar stone, beautiful, d different colors. I, I mean, frankly, I, I really like, I really like this because you have, have some, some different colors and, and they really pop and, and uh, I think they really make it uh, stand out when you have that, uh, the difference in the, uh, the various colors. We've got the KitchenAid. KitchenAid uh, in the first home, Gen Air. They've gone back to KitchenAid most of the time with new homes. If you get in the initial building phase, you can decide which manufacturer you want. So keep that in mind. Oh, wow. Love that volume ceiling. Let's take a walk upstairs. So there's a couple things about this plan that, that I want to point out. One is, is initially we referenced that they, they had a, a bonus room over the great room. This doesn't, but the, the model is for sale does. So you could extend this over. If you, if you notice in, in plan one and two that we went in, there they had the conservancy, conservatory, sorry, conservatory. Um, here they've opted for the additional outdoor space. That's how they get that pool. But again, we believe you could get a pool in plan one and two. But if you wanted, you could add a, a bonus room that would recover all, all the space. You would lose the, the certainly the, the volume ceilings. You'd lose the sense of height. And I have a lot of people just, they wouldn't give that up. That's an option. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at the master first. We're gonna come upstairs, we're gonna to go to the right. Here we, here we go. We have the master. Beautiful, beautiful treatments on the, on the walls. We have our, again, we have our, our aluminum frames. Um, really like the way they've, they've done the windows. Interesting coloring. Plantation shutters on the secondary. You have the architectural features. This has whole house audio, something that you would pay additional for. I like the fact that they have multiple vents. This is something I think sometimes, uh, because heat rises and sometimes they, they don't have enough airflow in some homes, but here they certainly do. Nice big master bathroom. Here we have dual vanities. So you have one here. Well, you can see one here. <laughs> Pretty simple. You can see that. We have a tub we've seen. Walk-in shower, toilet. We know what that is. So, but again, um, even good, I don't know that I want a lot of natural light when I'm when I'm in the tub. But um, so here you step into the the closet, the master, the uh, walk-in closet. Again, we've alluded this. This is custom. You're gonna pay extra. We have people that can do this for you. So, let's take a look at some of the other the other bedrooms. I really like these, I like these, uh, these wall coverings. Let's take a look down. We have our linen, we have our linen storage. Let's come down here. Oh, we're gonna go straight. Good, a little bigger, because we're 3,024 square feet. Little, little bigger bedrooms, nice little balcony. A lot of natural light. I'm gonna go this way. To the right, we have our laundry facility and a little bigger. A little more storage. To the left, we have our, our shared bathroom. So we've got two sinks, again, soft clothes. We've got a, a shower, don't have a tub, so it's a three-quarter bathroom. Three-quarter bathroom downstairs also. And then we have our, our fourth bedroom. We don't have crown molding like we have in the master, but we do have we do have the baseboards. Plantation shutters, steel, steel frame. And then we have our little walk-in closet. So, that concludes our tour of home number three. Again, we're in Fresco at Eastwood Village, Orion Pacific Sea Builder. Stay with us because we're going to give you a driving tour of Eastwood Village here in Irvine. Let's go. So this wraps up our tour of the Fresco development in Eastwood Village here in Irvine. We really appreciate you joining us. And certainly, 
If you have any questions about buying a new home, buying a resale home, or, or selling your home, we'd love to talk to you. So whether you're looking to make the move in the next five days, 50 days, or further out, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. We'd love to help you make a smooth move to and, and, and out of Irvine and surrounding communities.